Hi everybody, Emma from Bless It Forward Ministries here. I am so excited to be creating a, another video. I've not made one for a couple of weeks because I have just been so extremely busy. Um, but tonight I enjoy trying out a um, different um, technique to um, enjoy creating this um, lovely background here and um, I really enjoyed using it so I'm going to use it again to create a tip in um, for another journaling entry I want to do so I just thought I would do a last minute video um, to show you how I created this lovely background and so it hopefully will encourage and inspire others um, to see that you can create these lovely backgrounds really easily and um, to use in your journaling, as, especially for those that sometimes are you were not too creative um, and you don't know where to go. You know, such simple techniques you can use um, and create such stunning bits of journaling. I mean, obviously, I do always say, you know, it's not about our stunning bits of journaling. It is about our time with God. So please do remember that. Whereas it is lovely to have these amazing pictures in our Bibles. You know, it is all about our time with God. Um, and that's the most important thing. Um, but I do know it is, you know, you get a nice little happy feeling when you've created um, a nice background or something like that to go with your journaling. Um, but obviously our main focus is God and his word. So I'm just showing you a picture here of an entry I did. And I'm just going to show you how I created this background. Um, but first I am going to turn to the page I want my entry to be on. And it is Psalm. What I'm going to do is it's here. Um, I want to do an entry for Psalm 56 verse 3. Um, so let's find it and read it, shall we? Um, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. Um, so that is um, the entry I'm going to do this evening. Um, and because I've already got two entries on this page already, um, I'm greedy. <laughs> um, I've got a paper cut design I did here and a drawing I traced in there from one of my freebies, which you can find on my um, website. Um, I want to definitely add in the design I want to do tonight here because it goes with um, this other journaling here because at the moment God is really speaking to me it, about standing up and praying and not being afraid um, through some situations I am currently facing with my job at the moment um, you know so um, a lot of my journaling is at the moment focusing around you know having my faith over fear and you know as this verse says, when I'm afraid, I will put my trust in God and, you know, stand up and pray and, you know, fight because it all makes a difference. Um, so that is why I'm um, and doing this entry at this moment in time. Um, so I am going to make a tip in to show you how I did this entry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flick back to the other one just so I can refer to it for showing, you know, adding it into your Bible as well. But I am going to create a tip in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this there so I can find it easily. Um, so let's start. Obviously, when I did this technique and I added it into my Bible, I did prep the page with some clear gesso first. Um, I use the Diana Wakely um, gesso range because I find it's a lot smoother than some of the other gessos. Obviously I have got a video that explains how I like to add my gesso into my Bible so please do um, find that on my channel as well. Um, my tip to you is always make sure you buy clear gesso. Some people make the mistake of buying white gesso. It needs to be clear gesso. Um, so I have prepped my page before I've done this technique. Obviously, because I'm making a tip in, um, I'm using some plain um, white paper. Um, I'm not going to prep it because it, it doesn't need prepping, um, just so you know. So I'm going to move the Bible to the side now. And um, to create the effect, I used my cheap 89p chalky watercolored set I got from a local store in the UK called Home Bargains. Um, I love this set. It's not the best quality, 
but it was cheap enough that I could afford it and um, it does create some really lovely backgrounds like the one you've saw, seen there and I have made some other videos um, you can find my channel using this set creating different backgrounds so obviously please do check them out and know that yes it might be cheap yes it might not be the best quality but it creates some lovely lovely journaling backgrounds um, so I am happy, happy, happy. Um, so let's bring in the bit of paper I'm going to use. Um, I am also using a like foamy sponge, an aqua sponge. It's got loads of big holes in um, for creating this effect. Um, it didn't cost me much. It cost me, I think, about a pound, 79p. I can't remember, but no more than a pound. So um, another item that is great to use and it doesn't cost lots and you can wash it out and use it again and again. Um, so let me show you how I create the technique. Obviously, as always, please bear with me. I'm always conscious that you're not fitting into my phone screen because um, I do all my recording on my iPhone um, for these videos. So what I am going to do is I am simply going to take some water and taking the colors I want to use, I'm going to use stick with the same colours I've used on this sponge because obviously I haven't washed it <laughs> um, but you can wash it again and again as I say and use different colours um, so I'm going to add lots of water to my chalky paints here lots of water it might go a bit funny coloured actually I quite like that um, lots of water so I will just make lots of water on that and put the brush up and what I do is obviously I take the sponge and I dip it onto the colour I'm going to use. Now what I do is before I put it into my Bible, um, I give it one press down on the paper, on a bit of paper to take some excess off, then I press it all over the Bible page. And this is actually a really good technique if you're like me um, and you don't like to cover your words. I have found using this set um, for many different techniques and doing this technique is that because it's quite lightly based it doesn't cover up the words that you can't see them so you know it's really good for creating backgrounds all over your text if you're like me and you still want to be able to see it because you can see through it um, so obviously I will say a little disclaimer there I have been able to see through everything I've created using these so obviously um, you should be able to as well. <laughs> I don't want to uh, cause a little issue there just in case something goes wrong. So obviously as I say before I add it into my Bible I will get a say this piece of paper and I will pop it down like so to take some excess off and then I will dab it all around my Bible page. And um, so what I'm just going to do now though is I'm just going to dab this all around this page and I will give it another little squeeze. I'm creating a lovely textured sort of um, background there, as you can see. Then I will take my paint palette again and I will water down some purple. Lots of water because you need it nice and watery for this. Again, taking the right side of my sponge, press it in and enjoy dabbing it all over my paper. And then I will get my last colour, which I'm going to use as some blue, lots of water. See, if you're also doing it on a bit of paper like this, you can maybe use some darker colours because you're not having to worry about seeing the text through. Just an idea there. Or if you're somebody who don't mind covering your text up, you can use some stronger colours. But I like to use these watery light colours because I like to see my text. So, let me... Some blue. And I just pop that all over. And that is my background. I am really, obviously, really happy with that. I like that effect. 
as you can see very simple very easy technique to do and it creates a stunning background to use for your journaling um, so Yes, what I tend to do is then, um, when I'm using my Bible, and obviously I'm going to do it now, is I like to make sure the page is fully dry. So I do take my hair dryer and I um, give it a quick um, blow over to make sure it's dry. So I'm just going to create a little woo noise and then I will be back with you. <laughs> I'm going to pop that back over there so I just like to make sure it's dry then what I am going to do is I am going to bring my text over I want and um, I've got some text here I have um, printed out um, when I'm afraid I put my trust in you to obviously go with the Bible verse that we are or I am journaling on tonight um, so I mean I'm going to say now I'm not very good at hand drawing or at handwriting so I do print off um, the words I want in my Bible and I do trace them in there is absolutely nothing wrong with tracing in um, so if you're like me and you struggle a little bit don't be afraid to um, print something off and trace it it is perfectly fine because like I said back at the beginning of the, um, this video you know it's all about the time we spend with God as we journal um, you know not about the amazing art skills we have um, as I always say yes it's nice to have amazing art skills but we must always remember to focus on God and his word as we enjoy our bible journaling so if you want to trace that is perfectly acceptable and God loves it just as much as those who don't trace. Um, I always like to make sure people know that. So um, to help me trace um, into my Bible and to onto my tippings and things like that, I have a light box. I just bought a cheap one off Amazon. I mean, this cost me £13 um, and it does the job. It's nice, it's thin, it plugs into my, you know, plugs um, with a... UBS lead and into my computer to light it up um, and it's great but obviously if you don't have something like this you can download an app onto your phone device or you can um, your iPad something like that you can find lightbox apps um, so do look for them you don't have to go out and buy something so I am just going to position this where I want it and I want it in the middle and I am using my um, watercolour pencils to trace over this and um, these are one of my most expensive buys I will admit and they are worth the extra pennies I mean I normally do buy lots of cheap um, resources to use because I just don't have a very big budget so I will go out and buy the cheapest things I can normally buy um, but these were a little bit more expensive but they were worth it I did save my pennies for them um, so I encourage you to do the same so let me position this where I want it. And I might go a little bit quiet now as I concentrate on tracing. Um, I may sing and uh, hopefully not hurt your eardrums. Um, or I might hum because I did put some quiet music on this evening to help me relax. I'm hoping that we will see this colour when we lift it off the light because it is a lighter colour but I really wanted to use it so as with anything when I journal it is trial and error if it goes wrong I will enjoy fixing it which gives me extra time with God so I also encourage you as well when you're journaling don't be afraid to just try things because at the end of the day if it goes wrong you get a bit of extra time with God and that verse and you know it's just great to try things it is all about learning it is a process um, our Bible journaling so you know don't be afraid to dig in and have a try I have a feeling when I pull this off we might have to go over it with a black pen but I'm hoping we won't have to 
so I really like this colour. <laughs> and it matches the stickers I want to use as well, so that's my thought process. And I'll just carry on, I'll do these bits here. So what I do is when I do trace over on my light box is I um, I trace over roughly and then I will pull the light box obviously away, turn it off and you can see better what you need to do and um, recolour in and make a bit darker in colour and stuff. So don't be worry if too much is when you're tracing you can't really see okay I'm just going to pull that off now oh I think it is going to be too light boo Yes, I think it will be too light. Oh, that is such a shame. Oh, right. What I will do then is I will write that in black. Um, so I can see um, it here to write in black. It might be a bit too faint. Uh, I wanted to use it. It, was, it's, it does say it's a bright pink, but it's not. But, you know, that's just the way it's going to go, which is very sad. But I'm just going to turn my light box back on. Enjoy some extra time with God and write it in black. I did have the black pencil ready as a standby. or well, not black pencil, black pen. Um, so it would help if I put the uh, thingy back on, wouldn't it? Never mind, people. These things don't always work out. there we go so that still looks fine I'm still happy with that it's not the original idea I wanted to do but it still represents what I want to say just go over it a little bit and then I will colour in this bit There we go, so hopefully you can see um, that is turning into a really nice tip in. Um, obviously, as I say, it was not originally how I wanted it today, but 
that is perfectly fine so i'm just going to jazz it up a little bit now with some um different um stickers that i have and or different washi tapes i'm not quite sure i always just tend to lay a load of things out and see what i fancy um fancy this nice blue one here mm, i've got really rubbish nails so getting things off it's not always easy for me. <laughs> I right, I'm just going to maybe pop some of this here like this. I think mm, about there. I don't want to go all the way across. I just want to go about there. So I'm going to stick this here. I put it off. I'm going to turn it round. Can't do things the wrong way round. <laughs> there we go. So that is that done. And actually, I'm thinking now to myself, um, is I'm actually quite pleased I did use the black. I mean, it was a little error to start with, um, but um, now I am looking at this. I've just spotted this um, washi tape I've got here that says Trust in God. And how perfect is that? That is black and white. And I think that will fit perfectly. So, you know, as I say, be encouraged. Sometimes we might have an idea for something and it might not quite work. Um, and you might have to turn it into something else or fix it. But in the end, it does turn out all right. So I'm going to, I think I'm just going to do, do it about a bit higher about there about there let's stick that there absolutely how is that that is perfect isn't it uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. there we go and that is done now what i'm going to do now is a last minute idea i just had so let me find the resources because as i say this is just me randomly um coming to do a video and i wasn't sure what i was going to do i just wanted to be able to demonstrate the lovely background i'm going to take this here i'm going to get my ink pad there and i always try and keep things nice and easy and accessible so i always have them there we go i think i'm going to take my ink pad and i'm just going to take these love hearts i do have a smaller one um but as i say i try and keep things accessible but i think i used it and i don't know where i put it mm, never mind right so i'm just going to put them onto my acrylic block like so and hopefully you're still getting a good idea i always have to check into my phone if it seems like I'm doing something odd, it's because I'm checking my phone screen to make sure you can see what I'm doing. I've just got some on there. We don't want that on there. And uh, so I'm just going to take these hearts and, as I say, pop them around. So it's kind of really, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed <laughs> at the start that that colour watercolour pencil didn't work but actually it's kind of turned out a good thing that it doesn't work because now the black is really coming into its own it's really standing out and working well i'm really pleased with that i think i might just remove this one Whoop. and just do a couple of single hearts i think i might do one one here And one here and one uh, I think maybe two again oh I might change it and do a little one yeah. sorry people I always try and make my videos quick and then I get like my creative groove on and I get carried away and it, they go on a bit long I do apologize but hopefully you're encouraged and inspired that's my whole aim as I live to encourage and inspire people I'm really pleased with that and then what I am going to do is I'm just take my black pen that is now running out <laughs> oh, 
I take my other black pen and I'm just going to enjoy adding some little just crosses all around like so I might put some here I might put some up in this corner here just randomly put them anywhere fill the page with some random crosses There we go, I'm really happy with that. I am going to leave that tip in like that. So let me just clear up some of my junk <laughs> that I've now created. So we can uh, stick it into the Bible. I will pop that all to the side and I'll give it a clean later. Now I am going to add it as a tip in into my Bible. So bring the Bible back and flick open the page I want it at. I'm just going to place it that way and I am looking for my sellotape reel which is here I'm just going to use some plain sellotape to put my tipping in and I always make it um, bigger than what I need it because I like to fit it to the page smooth it along oh I've got it just the right size actually just a teeny bit small on this side and I always cut off the excess at the bottom and I am going to bring it up against this other tip in I've got and stick it to the page. I want it as close to that other tip in edge as I can get it. That's perfect. And just going to tip it to my page. And there I have my tip in. Oh, it's not quite gone right there. So let me show you what I do is I just very gently pull it off. It doesn't rip the Bible. And let's try again, shall we? I'm going to maybe do the sellotape like this a minute. Whoop. Ah, that will have to do. Right, so that is my tip in. Oh, hopefully you can see, sorry, hopefully. There we go, everybody. And I am really pleased with that. And hopefully, as I say, you're encouraged and you're inspired and you will like to give that technique a go. Um, I will quickly say goodbye now. Um, please do check out the description and um, you will find the link to my website where you can find my free resources. You can find the link to our Blessed Forward Bible Journaling community where you can come and join a group of worldwide people who love to share their journaling and um, to encourage and inspire each other and to also just you know uplift the lord and bring praise and glory to him i think i'm gonna have to stick it in a bit better in a minute but i will say goodbye god bless you all and thank you for bearing with me